As many of you know, I travel with my three cats, so I thought I would show you what I've done in the trailer to make it comfy for them. Starting in the very back, I won this cubicle thing at a pet blogging event a couple of years ago. And in the entire time that I've traveled, I have seen a cat in it one time but it does make the TV the perfect height to see over the kitchen counter. The one thing they do use a lot is this bed that's right in front of the window. The crate that's under it serves as my step stool as well, so I don't have to carry an extra step ladder. And yes, that's an entire basket of toys. They're just a little bit spoiled. Hmm, I see their tower of tracks is still stowed away. I forgot to get it out for them when we arrived here a few days ago. They really love that toy. My cats love cardboard scratchers and I just got them a new one yesterday because they had totally demolished the last one that they had. Behind the sofa, I have three beds and yes, all three are heated. I have them hooked into a power strip so that I can just flip the switch and turn all three of them off or on depending on um, how warm it is inside or outside. And that's ocean. There are also two heated beds on the opposite side of the dinette from where I sit to work. They're also hooked into a power strip so I can just flip it on and off easily. I have a cat tree here right next to where I work and there's usually a cat in it but for some reason today they're all other places and Christy has taken over my footstool. In the bedroom, and yes the bed's a little messy. If you live in a trailer and have ever tried to make the bed, it's a pain. So most of the time the covers just get thrown up. Anyway, they have behind, my head goes like right there and behind that, there's a pillow on each side and a cat bed. But I usually end up at night with Echo and Ocean over here on this side of the bed next to me and Christy over here. This is Echo. Last year when we traveled from California to Texas, I had a really awesome cat tree right here in front of the window. I cannibalized a huge tree that we had and made um, a tree that would fit here in this limited space, but it kind of disintegrated in the heat over the summer. So I'm looking for something that will fit in this space, but it's a, a tight space. My litter box is right down there and I'll show you more of it another time. I made my own covered litter box which works great and the litter I use keeps the odor down so that no I don't smell it while I'm sleeping at night. Plus I feed my cats raw food and if you know anything about that you know that their poop doesn't stink. When I make the cats raw food I make about three to four pounds at a time here in the trailer. At home, I make about six pounds, six to seven pounds, but I have my food grinder there. Here I use my food processor and it's just a little bit slower process and I have more limited freezer space. So I cut it down just a little bit. Three or four pounds will last them uh, four to five days. So as you can see, the cats are pretty happy here in the trailer. It's just home to them.